Hello dear subscribers, today I want to give thanks and to express my heartfelt gratitude to the Lord for his graciousness and his providence in this day and age of deception and and uh, the snare of the fowler we are all concerned about this global experiment and we don't want our families to enroll in the global experiment we don't want them to be entrapped into the snare of the fowler into the hunter's trap we don't want them to come to the hour of temptation oh come let us sing unto the lord let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and to make a joyful noise unto him with psalms for the lord is a great god and a king above all gods in his hand are the deep places of the earth the strength of the hills is his also the sea is his and he made it and his hands formed the dry land O oh, come let us worship and bow down let us kneel before the lord our maker for he is our god and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand today if ye will hear his voice harden not your heart as in the provocation and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness when your fathers tempted me proved me and saw my work forty years long was i grieved with this generation and said it is a people that do err in their heart and they have not known my ways unto whom i swear in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest And Psalm 31 reads, In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Never let, me, let me never be ashamed. Deliver me into thy righteousness. Bow down, tie near to me. Deliver me speedily. Be thou my strong rock. For an house of defense to save me. For thou art my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for thy name's sake, lead me and guide me. Pull me out of the net that they have laid privily for me, for thou art my strength. Into thine hand I commit my spirit. Thou hast rendered me, O Lord God of truth. I have hated them that regard lying vanities, but I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in thy mercy. For thou hast considered my trouble. Thou hast known my soul in adversities. And hast not shut me up into the hand of the enemy. Thou hast set my feet into a large room. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, fire, for I am in trouble. Mine eyes consumed with grief, yea, my soul and my belly. For my life is spent with grief, and my years with sighing. My strength faileth because of mine iniquity, and my bones are consumed. I was a reproach among all mine enemies, but especially among my neighbors, and the fear of mine acquaintance. They that did see me without fled from me. I am forgotten as of a dead man, out of mind. I am like a broken vessel. For I have heard the slander of many. Fear was on every side while they took counsel together against me. They devised to take away my life. But I trusted in thee, O Lord, I said, Thou art my God. My times are in thy hand. Deliver me from the hand of mine enemies and from them that persecute me. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant. Save me for thy mercy's sake. Let me not be ashamed, O Lord, for I have called upon thee. 
Let the wicked be ashamed. Let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the right righteous. O oh, how great is thy goodness, which thou hast laid up for them that fear thee, which thou hast wrought for them that trust in thee before the sons of men. Thou shalt hide them in the secret of thy presence from the pride of men. Thou shalt keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he hath showed me his marvellous kindness in a strong city. For I said in my haste, I am cut off from before thy eyes. Nevertheless, thou heardest the voice of my supplications when I cried unto thee. O oh, love the Lord, all ye his saints, for the Lord preserved the faithful and plentifully rewarded the proud doer. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, all ye that hope in the Lord. So this is for all of you out there, brothers and sisters. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, all ye that hope in the Lord. And in verse 23, the Lord preserved the faithful. And we read also in Psalm 121, the Lord preserved the soul of the righteous one. And therefore, if you, play, if you pray with prayer and supplication, the Lord hears your prayers. Now, also, I will be glad and rejoice in thy mercy, reads verse 7, for thou hast considered my trouble. The Lord considers your trouble. He has known your soul in your adversities. And verse 6, we call, can all relate to that right now as the mainstream media and the governments are speaking anything but the truth. And we hate those which speak lying vanities. And in verse 3 we read that the Lord is our rock and our fortress. And indeed, we read so in Psalm 95. Likewise, the Lord is indeed our rock and our fortress. Take heart, pray unceasingly, and rejoice. Because the Lord is with us and the Lord is coming soon. If you haven't come to repentance, if you haven't accepted the Lord Jesus Christ into your life, now is the time to do so. For the time is almost up. There is hardly any time left. The Lord is at the door. And in Romans 10 verse 9 we read that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. And moreover, it's written in verse 13, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Call upon the name of the Lord whilst he may be found. Later or tomorrow may be too late. Call now. God bless you all.